What is a contract? Contracts are essentially wrappers with a single or multiple sets of joins in them. Instead of using join numbers, contract joins use object names instead. Using contract joins is an alternative to using traditional join numbers. The actual contract joins themselves are generated in the namespace of the control join ID, which is the name of the object when the solution is built. The Crestron contract compiler creates a CH5 GUI extender definition file called projectname.chd. This file will store all contract joins so that you can import them into simple windows. To link the file into simple windows, right click on the panel in the programming view of simple windows and select manage GUI extenders. If you ever used smart objects in Crestron VT Pro-E, it is similar, but not exactly the same as that, as no smart object ID is used. Also, Crestron Construct does not use smart graphics. When you pull a contract into simple windows, you will see a control join ID, but this is automatic and not meant to be changed. The object name must be unique and descriptive if you are to use contract joins. Every time the solution is built or compiled, the CHD files are updated. If you have programmed Crestron devices before, you have been using contract joins for years, you just may not have known it. For example, see this touch panel. If we open it, it has digital, analog, and serial joins. Think of the panel itself as a contract, in the same sense that this other Ethernet device is also a contract. Here is the contract we pulled in for the projector as an example. Note that the signal names match what we labeled them in Crestron Construct. When utilizing modern joins or contracts, join availability is never an issue. Crestron recommends that you utilize contract joins so that you do not have to spend time picking and managing join numbers.